Hello guys, it's me Prodexus31 here, and I'm posting my second tutorial on Pokemon SDFX. Alright, so last time I showed you guys how to make text in Photoshop that looks 3D. And now I'm going to show you how to make 3D text, or everybody knows how to make 3D text in. It's not 4D, but I, so I won't show that. Just go to MoGraph, MoText, do whatever you want with the text. Double click on materials to change color and whatever. And I suck with Cinema 40, so I have like no plugins and stuff. I used to have a Throssy, but I uninstalled it because I didn't need it. And I was making my Cinema 40 lag, and right now it's not lagging. So I'm taking advantage of it and making a tutorial. Alright, so you got your text. Uh, if you render out like this, there we go. But what you want, I'm going to show you how to get the 3D text into Photoshop. Or something like that. Alright, so first you want to go to output film video HDV slash HDTV 720 29 by 29.97 frames. And that's what I use. Uh, I go to save. I, I'll save it right here, I guess. Tutorial. Alright, this is really important. This is what I do PNG is the format. I check off alpha channel. Antialyzing. I don't recommend you use it, but if you have to, make it one by one, one times one, and one times one, the minimum and max level. Options. This thing, this makes the render time quicker. I could do one, 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 or else, or you can do six, two, six, or six, one, six, or whatever. By the one, one, one. I check off blurriness. And uh, I go to ambient occlusion, turn up the r maximum ray length from 100 to 160. Uh, the What else do I do? I don't know. I have it saved on here. There you go. Contrast is 40% and maximum ray length is 160. Antialyzing none, I recommend. So picture settings none. Uh, tutorial. There we go. All right, so make sure you're on full render. Everything looks good. Yep. All right, so X out of that, and you want the current frame, so. Yeah, I like that. All right, so click on this, the middle one, and that will render. All right, well that renders. I all right. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's make it best. There we go. All right, so this is gonna render again, and let's just open Photoshop. How long have we been recording for? Uh, three minutes. All right. All right, so it's rendered and everything. So hurry up, Photoshop! I'll just cut to them in Photoshop. All right. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so we're in Photoshop. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so let's just do random dimensions. These are my wallpaper dimensions. Alright, so this is what matters. So just go over to where you saved it. Mm, where's the tutorial? There's the tutorial. And Y, and then just you can press Control A, Control C, or you can just select it then press control C control V and there you go you got your text it's fully fully editable so you can give it a drop shadow give it an outer glow 
whatever you want to do. I don't know why I'm showing you guys this. You can do that. Give it a stroke. Strokes actually make it look better, to be honest. Uh, you can give it a pattern overlay. Yeah, you can give it a pattern over. You can do whatever you want. Color overlay. Although it does get rid of the 3D effect. So, I recommend you don't use it. <laughs> so, yeah. That's how you can make. And if you want, uh. You can just do that, and there you go. Text. Alright, so I'm gonna end the video off right here. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope this helped. And, yep. Yeah. Alright, see you guys.